Hi, this is Dana. And in today's video, I want to show you an amazing tool called tapping or emotional freedom technique, a tool that I've been using for over a decade to completely transform my life in so many ways, um, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Uh, this is such a great time to be sharing this tool with you with what's going on in the world. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the basics of how to start tapping. And in future videos, I'm gonna go into specifics as to the topic that we're gonna be tapping on. So I'm gonna dive straight into this. And by the way, if you're wondering what EFT is, you can look up on my website, as well as there's so many resources out there. I love the tappingsolution.com where they have some amazing stuff on there that you can learn and there's so many books out there and YouTube videos. So this is definitely an amazing movement that's taking place and I'm excited to show you how to do it today. So first and foremost, emotional freedom technique is a method where you're tapping on acupuncture points to release uh, trapped emotions, trapped physical pain, physical ailments, stress, uh, old traumas and wounds. So anything that is causing dis-ease in the body, whether it's, it's emotionally, mentally or physically, tapping can quickly and effectively help you to release the trapped energies in the body and make you feel so much better in a very quick amount of time. So we always start with the same way and that's called the setup. And we start on the hand, it's this called the karate chop, okay? We always do this three times as we say, even though I have this and that situation, I deeply, completely love and accept myself. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you what to say and where to, to tap along the way and all you do is follow me and repeat after me and you're still gonna notice amazing results, okay? And I like to incorporate um, breathing every time uh, we pause at the beginning because every time we breathe in and exhale, it really helps release these trapped emotions, okay? So just follow along with me, close your eyes and start to take a few deep breaths. and just breathe and feel your feet on the ground. It's good to be in a comfortable seated position with your back straight. And just breathe a couple more breaths. Okay, now notice what's coming up for you. For today's purpose, I'm going to focus on releasing tension and pain in the body since most of us can relate to that. Okay, so this is a physical ailment. Um, so noticing in your body where you could be feeling tension, tightness, pain, and just focusing on that area or the different areas. How does it feel like? Is it pressure? Is it tightness? Sharp, dull pain? What is it? Just noticing it, giving it your attention and then start to notice uh, if there's any emotions connected. So if you're feeling this, this tension or pain, are you feeling any frustration, stress, anxiety, any anger perhaps? Just noticing what you're feeling. And then from a scale of zero to 10, 10 being the highest intensity, just give yourself a rating right now for the level of pain or emotional burden that you're going through. So for example, you could be at a seven and that would be your baseline from where you're starting and then by the end of the tapping rounds, we can look again to see, uh, you know, things have shifted for you. Most likely it will shift quite a bit, um, sometimes down to two, one, zero, and you're feeling amazing and, and free and balanced and aligned, okay? So let's just follow with me. Again, this is just a tutorial. Um, so here you go. 
take a deep breath. Even though I have this intense pain in my neck and in my back, and it's very debilitating and frustrating, I deeply love and accept myself. Take a deep breath. And even though I have this frustrating pain in my neck and in my back, it's preventing me from living my life to the fullest. I'm so tired of it. I deeply, completely love and accept myself. Take a deep breath. And even though I have this horrible pain in my neck and in my back, I'm so tired of dealing with this pain. I just want to feel better. I deeply, completely love and accept myself. Deep breath. And that completes our setup statements. Now you can do it on the right hand, the left hand, whichever hand feels good for you. After we set it up, then we go to tapping on the specific points on the face and in the body uh, while saying statements that seem to be true for us at, at the time, whether it's really true or not. And usually we start out with the obvious, which is negative feelings or negative sensations because that's why we're tapping. And then naturally it will evolve as you tap, things get released and you start to feel more neutral and then as you tap more and more it turns into positive rounds of tapping okay i'm going to show you all of this okay so let's start on the first point which is the side of the eyebrow do both sides or one i like to do just two fingers tapping on both points at the same time most people just do it like this which is totally fine and feel free to breathe anytime you need to, okay? Repeat after me. Eyebrow. All this pain in my neck and in my back. Side of the eye. All this horrible, excruciating pain. Under the eye. I'm so tired. I can't live my life. Under the nose. I've been going through all this pain for so long under the mouth <sighs> I'm just so tired of this pain under the collarbone both sides on one side this pain in my neck this sharp pain in my lower back you can fill in wherever your pain is okay I like to add this heart one I like this one a lot All this frustration and anger when I think about my pain. Under the arm, where the bra line is for ladies. This anger, this frustration from all the pain. Okay, top of the head. And I'm so tired of dealing with all this pain. And so that's a whole round of tapping. And you continue to just do that, eyebrow, side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, under the mouth, collarbone, heart, under the arm, top of the head, until you feel a shift in the body, meaning you start to feel better, you feel more relaxed and calm. Um, the stress response is shifted for you or you're not feeling on edge anymore or um, highly alert then that's when you we can shift into more neutral rounds and then positive rounds okay for example a neutral round would be I guess it's not so bad I've been going through this for so long it's become a, become part of my life but I know it's not who I am. I'm much better than this. I'm stronger than this. The 
pain is not who I am. I do have a lot to be grateful for. I have the rest of my health. I'm perfectly capable. And so that's considered semi-neutral, moving towards a positive round. And now I'll demonstrate a positive round, okay? And all of this is going to take anywhere from 7 to 12 minutes for you to really get into the place where you're feeling really good, okay? I think I'm ready to release all the burdens now. All these burdens is on me, the blockages in my body. I don't need it anymore. This is not who I am. Who I really am is an amazing, beautiful person. It's hard to feel that way sometimes when I'm in so much pain. But I know that's the truth. I do so much good for myself, for my family, for my community. I am strong. I can get through this. Maybe I need to take better care of myself. Maybe I need to make myself a priority because I deserve it. I deserve to feel good. I deserve my best intentions. It's time to let it go. Release and let it go. I am loved. I am protected. Release and let it go. I am safe. All is well. Release and let it go. Okay? Breathe. In the very end, I like to add the wrists and just close your eyes feel your feet on the ground take some deep breaths okay now noticing how your body is feeling has anything changed at all even a little bit is worth celebrating you did you did such a great job you know if this is your first time or first few times awesome congratulations so now notice where the pain is again noticing your emotions the intensity you were at a level seven perhaps and earlier noticing what level you are now even if you went down by one or two points that's awesome the more you tap the better you get at it the more it becomes just a fluid process you don't even have to think about it you can close your eyes and just go for it and every anything that feels true for you just let it go let it out um, you can't do it wrong really um, keep it simple you know when you first start out you don't want to choose the worst problem of your whole life because that you know could make it very difficult for you to bring it back into the positive if you're not guided by someone else but later on as you get better I bet you you're gonna get so good at it that's how I started actually um, I guess over 10 years ago with a practitioner who was a friend who taught me and uh, I just started learning little by little and it's completely changed my life for the better um, I managed to you know, changed my health. I used to have intense migraines and other physical um, health issues and emotional too. Who doesn't? Uh, but I have to tell you that tapping has played a significant role in my life and I've seen it um, work so well for my clients in my practice and I really hope that it can help you as well. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions and uh, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos about tapping as well as health, wellness, healing, nutrition, life, 
everything in between to make us uh, more wholesome individuals. I look forward to seeing you very soon. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.